Following the counsel and promise given in verse 10, verse 11 concludes the message to the church in Smyrna with a universal call and a profound assurance. The verse reads, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. In this verse, the phrase, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, reiterates the call for attentiveness and discernment found in the messages to all the churches. This exhortation underscores the importance of heeding the guidance and teachings of the Holy Spirit. It emphasizes that the messages contained in these letters, while addressed to specific churches, have broader implications and are relevant to all believers across different times and places. The promise to the overcomer in the latter part of the verse, he who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death, provides a powerful assurance to the believers. The concept of the second death is understood in the context of Revelation as the final judgment and eternal separation from God for the unrighteous. In contrast, the promise to the one who overcomes, remains faithful to Christ, especially under persecution, is that they will not be subject to this second death. This assurance is of immense significance to the believers in Smyrna, facing potential martyrdom. It serves as a reminder that while they might face physical death for their faith, they can have the assurance of eternal life, a life that is not subject to spiritual death or separation from God. Transitioning from verse 10 to verse 11, the focus moves from the specific counsel and encouragement for the imminent trials to a broader exhortation to listen to the Spirit and a reaffirmation of the eternal reward for faithfulness. This concluding verse provides comfort and motivation not only to the Smyrna Church, but also to all believers, encouraging them to endure in their faith with the assurance of eternal life, free from the fear of the second death. It emphasizes the eternal perspective that believers are called to maintain, that the trials and tribulations of this life, even unto death, are temporary and cannot compare to the eternal glory and life that await those who are steadfast in their faith in Christ. This message to the church in Smyrna thus stands as a testament to the enduring hope and victory found in Christ, encouraging all believers to persevere in their faith with the promise of eternal life as their ultimate reward. Thank you all for tuning in and being a part of our community here at Gospel Illuminations. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Please share your thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to Gospel Illuminations for more inspiring and uplifting content. Your support means the world and helps this channel grow. Thank you again, and stay blessed.